So first things first, this thing, we let it, uh, we let it loose. And what we do is put our gloves and we're gonna pull from the edges to pull it down. We do not pull from this side where the, <coughs> where the sunscreen is hanging from. We pull from the other three. All right, so it's gonna be a little bit hard, but um, you're not gonna break it. Okay, there's one, there's two. Don't worry, that did not break. That's just the piece getting it out of the sockets. And there it is. All right. And the piece did not break anything. All right, so we're here now and we have the piece with this with the loose screen. So, immediately, I know what the problem is. This part right here is loose, it's supposed to be another piece right there, and it's supposed to stick like that, but it broke. So, this piece is what's holding it should be something something like that so what we have to do is um, take that off um, and this is what you're gonna need you're gonna need a star drive you see that it's a teeny tiny one it's a um, one quarter inch hexagonal and uh, with a one inch insert you can use a different size for insert but one of those put in there and i would typically say some some gorilla glue or some some uh, cement or something but this is what i have handy so this is what we're going to use <coughs> and um oh i would it's um, pliers sorry pliers are also an important piece of the process so um two ways of doing it um unscrew it let's unscrew it so this piece the screw is really small so when when i try to to go backwards um to make, make this easier um it won't it won't go just because it's um, it's loose too too quick so i'll have to go around and around instead of going like this make sure to do this in a controlled environment so that you don't lose your tiny screws All right, so once we've done that, take the piece off. There's a little holder right here for this part. And we'll get to that in a little bit later. So this part we're gonna set aside for a minute. We have two pieces that we're gonna work on. First, this, which is just putting back what um, what is broke here and here and just work your way as a puzzle and that's, that's pretty much it put it in put it in there and glue it in together <clears throat> do not work over your screen if you do that you put some crazy glue or whatever type of sealant you're putting into your screen and you don't want to do that um, at some point I'm gonna pause the video because I'm going to clean that screen it's a little bit dirty so and it's, it's really easy there's, there's no science to it just take a uh, an old brush um, a dish washer brush um, and uh, put some soap and that's it 
Um, it didn't clean the the other one quite as good, but it was it is better than what it. And we wait. So we're gonna let this rest for a second, and we're gonna do it over this one. So I was saying, this Jeep Commander is a great vehicle, but it does come with a couple of design flaws. Um, so, easy fix if you don't want to go to a junkyard because they're hard to find. Their, their pieces are hard to find. This this specific piece um, is a little bit hard, but um, you can just. Try this easy fix like this. Now we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes. Um, we'll start the process of putting the screen in. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go clean the screen. Okay, so we waited a few minutes for this to uh, blend, to uh, get together. Uh, so it's, it's solid. So it seemed to, to move from the original part. Um, and this is the next step. You have your sun, sunscreen shade, you roll it up as tight as possible. Now that you have this, um, we're going to roll this part. We're going to move it like that. But this thing, for lack of a better word, um, it's uh, springy. So whenever, whenever we rotate, we'll go back to its original position so what we use this is what we use the pliers for we need to get the pliers on one end so we don't use it like we don't um, do it this way but like this and in a minute you'll see you'll see the reason um, of why we're doing it like that so we start rolling our screen and immediately you're gonna start uh, sensing tension from from the parts where the spring inside of the roll is it's being stressed. So now what we do is going to the part that we fixed and we put the end of the rod inside of that little hole and then the part in the front tuck it in and we put it inside of that hole right there so this is where it gets tricky because it's gonna start wanting to roll back from what you just did what we have to do is find a way that that does not happen And there it is. It's inside. And it's stressed. So, that's how we fix that part. Next. Now, by the way, I want to say that the first time I did this, it took me about 10 to 15 minutes to get it right. So, don't stress it. Don't stress yourself if you're not able to. Um, do it um, on the first attempt um, just keep trying so next step is put this back in and you have to roll the screen a little bit and put it in place
now that all of them are in place, start tidying them up. I don't like to tie them up. As I put them on, I like to put them on and then tie them up little by little. So it's even, the pressure is evenly distributed and I don't put more stress on one side of the, of the part. Now, if you noticed, I did not put the last screw on purpose because this is where the damaged part was. This is where we made our repair. So we have to be a little bit extra careful when we do this. So the trick is to do it firmly, slowly, and make sure that we do not put more stress than necessary. See, right now, it appears that it started moving a little bit. So, do an extra. So it does not only glue it together, it comes with melted it in. Okay. And that's that. So we're gonna let it, we're gonna let it dry for a, for a minute or two, and then we're gonna go back to the car and install it. All right, so we're back at the truck, we're back at the commander, and we have our fixed part. And we need to make sure that our fix is still in place and it's not going anywhere. So um, that's it. The only thing that you have to do is put it back in place, starting with this, this part right here, the, where, where the screen is rolled in. You have to put it in as such. There's like a holder inside right there. Once that's in, all you have to do And that's how you fix your screen on your Jeep Commander anywhere from 2006, 2007, 2008, 9, and 10. Um, all right, I hope this video has been useful for you. And uh, if you like it, um, just uh, give some likes and shares. Thank you.